Hey, Javante, thanks for thanks for talking with us. Well, what do you expect your role to be this year working next to Melvin Gordon? And what can you learn from him uh, and, and learn from these coaches over this weekend? Yeah, um, like you said, just learning, uh, taking it uh, day by day, um, just getting better every rep and just trying to help the team get better any way I can. Next one, uh, Kyle Newman. Hey, Javante, uh, taking me back to high school for a second, what do you remember about that 2017 championship game and like the late offer from North Carolina and just kind of everything happening fast there at the end of your high school career? Yeah, um, it kind of feel like kind of feel like what I'm going through now, just everything just like happening so fast. But um, yeah, I was offered after the game and I didn't even go back to high school after that because I had like an all-star game and next, uh, next Monday I had to go to train for that. So after that game, I never went back to high school. And then uh, with your season you had last year at North Carolina, what do you think set you up for, for that statistical breakout and the touchdowns, everything that you accomplished? Yeah, um, honestly, just uh, learning to play more better, um, getting more knowledge of the game, things like that. Um, I feel like they helped me play a lot faster. Thanks for having me. Uh, hey, Javante. Um, in one of your scouting reports, one of a running backs coach in the league described you as someone who – runs like a tank, but has more shimmy than you would think. So uh, I'm curious, what does that mean to you? How would you describe your game and what is the shimmy in your game? Yeah, um, honestly, I think just me being able to like, switch it up. Like, um, um, I'm not always like going to try to run people over. Sometimes like, I can make people miss too. I think that's what he meant by when he said that. We'll go next one, uh, Brandon. So I asked coach about you guys not going too hard when it's your first NFL practice over these couple of days, obviously a second round pick, you know, you're going to be on the team, but adrenaline, it gets going. So how do you keep from going too hard over these couple of days and maybe risking injury? Yeah. Um, definitely the, the altitude is going to slow you down regardless. I don't care how fast you want to go, but um, uh, yeah, just, just getting used to that. Um, I feel like that's really the biggest hurdle. Um, getting used to that, but the coaches like they tell us to slow down too. Um, if we're going a little too fast. Thanks nice for Troy Rank. Devontae, what was it like when you kind of start going through the playbook and hearing some of the message at this pro level? What was that? What's that like? Is it uh, going to be a cram session or how do you approach that? Yeah, um, I don't think it's too too hard because uh, it's pretty much like college. Um, you got like inside zone, outside zone, everything like that. The hardest part is like getting used to the terminology um, and just like certain keywords. I feel like that's going to be like the most challenging part. Coach Fangio just said one of the easiest things to do is get a rookie running back involved because you can just turn around and hand them the ball and throw a short pass. You keep that mindset, you know, that, hey, I've got to be able to find a way to make an impact early, no excuses? Definitely. Um, with them, like, trading up to pick me in the uh, second round, I feel like i got to return the favor. Um, and I'm um, just coming in every day working hard and just showing what I can do. Go ahead, George. Yeah, hey, Javante, um, how did you come up with uh, number 33? Were you just given that number, or did you get to pick that? Um, at first, I wanted number three, but uh, Drew Locke got that. So uh, since I couldn't get three, I just got 33. Okay, <laughs> and uh, have you talked to Melvin at all, and, and has he offered you maybe any advice as you head into rookie minicamp? Yeah, um, I talked to him on Instagram after, uh, after I got drafted, and he was just saying, like, uh, work hard, let's get it.